Now, when you're as deep into the world of watches as I am, it gets harder and harder to find watches that genuinely surprise you. But in this video, we will be looking at a JDM Seiko watch that costs $200 that is unlike anything that I have seen, while also being one of the coolest Seikos I may have ever covered on this channel. The watch, the Seiko SMW006 metronome. Let's jump in. So as mentioned, this is a JDM release, so this is not going to be on teddybaldish.com for purchase, but we do have 60 other curated models from Seiko that I went through myself, hand curated, picked out, some of my favorites from the entire brand, wide variety of different model families and styles, dive watches, Seiko 5, Presage, Prospects, Speed Timer chronographs. I mean, you have pretty much everything here that I would recommend for that $1,000 price point and under. We're also getting new products in all the time from Seiko. It's a lot to keep up with. So if you haven't checked the store in a while, I would recommend checking it out. We're getting some new stuff in, especially for the summertime coming around the corner. Link will be in the description down below. Definitely check it out. And any purchase helps support the content that we're doing here. We don't charge the brands for producing content on this channel. How we're able to fund all of our productions is through selling watches. So we really would appreciate your business. For the enthusiast community and the mass market alike, Seiko is a legendary name that probably needs no further introduction. With roots dating back to 1881 and forever cementing themselves in watchmaking history after producing their first Laurel watch in 1913. For over a century, they've been on the cutting edge of innovation in horology for their quartz calibers, their dive watches, chronographs, and much more. Although this piece is not on the level of innovation as the brand's acclaimed legends, it isn't far-fetched to say the niche approach presented here is one of the most playfully ridiculous watches Seiko has ever made, coming equipped with a properly working metronome that leads to a dancing minute hand in audible function. For the purposes of this video, we're going to be looking at one singular reference, the most basic reference in terms of dial color with a white dial with the SMW006. This was released with the entire collection last year, but there are many different variations. For the non-musically inclined, a metronome is a device that provides a variable sound and or a visual indication of the beat, measured in beats per minute or BPM. So how does it actually operate? The SMW relies on a relatively straightforward quartz caliber for its timekeeping functions, which consists of a simple hour and minute display with no seconds hand or conventional crown. Instead, four buttons that all help in bringing out this piece's magic. Starting from the time mode, which is the SMW's default mode, you press the pusher at eight o'clock to engage the metronome. The hour and a minute hand immediately jumped to life with a quick dance between 10 and two before the minute hand settles into its rhythmic pendulum motion. At the same time, the hour hand with its distinctive red tip rotates to display the beats per minute on the dial's raised outer perimeter with its beats per minute scale ranging from a leisurely 40 beats per minute to a rapid 304 beats per minute. For the linguists and musicians, the simply printed outer scale also offers the Italian language naming conventions for musical tempo, all the way from largo to prestissimo, a speed that you can adjust by way of the pushers at two and four. While you're in metronome mode, a press of the upper left pusher produces an audible tone synchronized with the bouncing minute hand. Another press of the mode pusher takes you from metronome mode to reference tone mode, which is used for tuning your specific instrument. When in reference tone mode, the pusher at 10 allows for turning the audible tone on or off, while the pushers at two and four let you select between your desired reference note, either A or B flat, and also make minor adjustments to the pitch with the hands jumping around to indicate where you're at. If you're worried about battery life, the watch will jump back to time mode after more than seven minutes of inactivity in metronome mode or three minutes in reference time mode. The standard CR2016 battery here should power this watch for a claimed two years and also has a low life battery indication where the minute hand will jump in one minute intervals as opposed to steadily advancing around the 
dial. Time changing is done by the pushers when holding the sound button at 10 for two seconds while in time mode. The watch enters the time setting feature where you can use the pushers at two and four to rotate the hands either clockwise or counterclockwise. To avoid a tedious process, if you press those pushers down, you'll be able to rotate the hands much more quickly. Beyond the metronome, surprisingly, the SMW presents a refined looking watch that actually is quite pleasant to look at despite its peculiar function. The dial central surface and raised outer circumference are executed in a pure matte white with printing of the metronome functions coming in an uncomplicated black typeface, a color that extends to the bold numerals and small linear markings just within. The handset is one aspect that is likely to draw some criticism. First, there is the shape, which is a syringe format with an extended tip, creating some difficulty in distinguishing between the hour and minute hand, regardless of the best efforts on display here with adding a pop of red to the end of the hour hand to help on the smaller dial. Measuring the case, we have a 36.5 millimeter diameter and 9.8 millimeter thickness and a very short 39.5 millimeter lug to lug, making this watch wear smaller than what the 36.5 millimeter is going to propose. Set between 18 millimeter drilled lugs, we have a leather strap that has the right look, but is quite quite frankly, not very good, even by affordable watch standards. It does the job, but feels synthetic in its finish. The case itself is entirely polished, lacking any type of bezel in the process and complete with a snap-on case back that simply says metronome in large text at the center. Between the array of buttons and the snap-on case back, this one has merely splash resistance in the water resistance category, so best to keep your music playing above the water surface. A mineral crystal completes the package above, offering a slightly domed effect that doesn't distort the rich display of information on the dial. So not to unpack looking at the Seiko metronome, just give some final takeaways. For one, let me just address the fact that this is a really cool watch. I saw this probably last year and I was like, okay, I mean, I, I wanna cover this at some point, but I just didn't know if it really had legs. And I really don't know how people are going to see this watch, but for its price, and how funky it is with its style, I think it's really a cool package. Now, let's talk about some cons, some pros. This is a very small watch. I think almost to a degree that is beyond what a lot of the small wristed crowd that is very vocal will even probably recommend. This watch wears like a 35 millimeter to maybe a small 36 on wrist. The strap, as mentioned, is not very good. We're in a price range where that is not as much of an issue for me, but I would easily swap this out immediately after getting this. Also legibility, this is probably the biggest con for myself here, just because it took a while for me to decipher between the hour and the minute hand when I look down frequently. But once you get an understanding what the red indicates, it makes it a lot easier. I just don't know why they didn't make the hands different lengths. But now let's shift over to the pros. And the number one thing you have to mention here is this is just a fun, quirky little watch that actually has some true function. If you're a musician, I could see a musician just going crazy over this thing. And although they might not use it, it is fun to pull out as a little party trick. And you're not costing yourself like an arm and a leg like you would for many watches out there that are trying to you know, show off with a little party trick. But sometimes we just, uh, the joke doesn't always land if you have to spend thousands of dollars to make the joke. I think that's kind of silly at times, unless you have the money to, of course, afford that type of thing. But uh, that is not everybody. The function itself is easy to use and watching it in action, seeing that minute ham pop back and forth is so much fun when you can also just play around with the different pace and tempo. That is so cool to see that swing and movement of that metronome function on a watch that does still tell the time at the end of the day. I know we're talking a lot about the metronome, but this is still a properly functioning watch and it also looks like a watch despite its quirky function. Yes, you have a metronome here, but they did a great job in drawing the line between that function and also being able to, of course, tell the time. So is this a watch that's going to be for everybody? No, it's a very niche lane that it has but at the same time, it's not niche in its ability to bring some enjoyment, some fun in the process, and something that's going to, if you show it off to someone, really get them saying, wow, that's cool. But all right, guys, that is my take on the Seiko Metronome. What do you think of this watch? I ended up buying one of these watches because it is a JDM watch, and I just wanted to cover it that much. I thought it was cool enough to just be like, hey, let's spend some time with it, have some fun. Maybe you guys would be interested in it as well. But if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Are there any owners out there that have purchased one of these watches? Uh, leave some comments down below. And have you actually used the Metronome in some of your musical pursuits? 
Also definitely check out teddybalderstar.com, full authorized dealer of 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support, and a full factory warranty for all the products that we offer. But guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.